Hi, this is Viewful, and I'm going to do um, uh, a requested video of the products I would repurchase again and the products that I wouldn't. So, like, my main factors right now are cost. So, if something's too expensive, I won't repurchase it. And also, just the quality, if I think it's uh, good. If it's good for me or not. Okay. So, what I'll start with is nail polish. So the first one I got, they're both a, like kind of a minty color. This one is called Minted, and this one is called P's and Q's. I would not repurchase this again because the formula is not very good. It basically bubbles when you put it on and the bubbles won't go away. My sister said it happened to her and the bubbles went away, so I think I'll probably give this to her. And the other one I got is Nicole by OPI. And um, I really do like this formula. It goes on very smooth. And I also got it on sale. So these two cost the same amount. So about like $4 or something. So, yeah. I'm actually wearing it right now. Very pretty. Okay. Um, next two things are sunblock. So this is the Cetaphil. And this is the um, Eucerin Everyday Protection Face Lotion. And this is just facial moisturizer. Um, I like this one a lot more because it actually feels like a moisturizer. This one feels more like a sunblock. And this is 30. I prefer this. I would actually use this every day. And this one actually I think makes me break out. So maybe I'll keep it and use it for my body. But if you were going to, if you were trying to decide between these two, I would go with this one. Um, the next two are kind of cream liners, and one is from MAC, it's a fluid line, and the other one is from HIP. I prefer this one because this one is more inexpensive, and I think they're pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same to me. Um, I found that this one has actually dried out. Um, it's the purple, it's called Ultra Violet, and I think it's a great color, and I think they both apply well, but, I mean, the extra cost just isn't worth it to me. So, I would recommend you would try the HIP first, and if you really like it, that's one of, be one of your things is cream liner, then I think you could get the MAC and be pretty happy with it, but if not, just drying things out, you don't have to. Um, the next two are facial moisturizers, and this one is from Alba. This is oil-free moisturizer, and this is actually the one that I use in my skincare routine, and although I love this, this one is twice as much, I think, twice or maybe even more, 16 fluid ounces, no wait, 16 and 3 ounces, and this is twice as much, this is like 15 and this is 8. So again, this one works pretty well, um, I mean, I think I can tell that this one is maybe better, of course it's better, but um, I think I like both of them and this one is worth, is just a lot better deal. Um, same with my two toners. Like again, this one is was in my um, skincare routine, but I got this one because this one is about two dollars or more uh, cheaper, and it's from Avalon Organics, and it's the vitamin C. I guess one thing that I think some people wouldn't like this is that it kind of goes on sticky, but. I think the stickiness goes away, but I could see that as one thing people not liking about this. But it does have a good smell. Um, it doesn't sting my skin. This one actually sting, stung my skin. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And I think in some ways your skin becomes accustomed to it because I used to think it was more sticky. So now I think it's less sticky. But there's that. Um, the next two things are kind of, um, it's going to morph into like four things. But I'm just going to start out with concealer. So this is from NARS and it's um, custard and ginger. And I actually have this, I think, in what's in my purse. And so I've actually really used this and I really like it. Um, I would repurchase it because it was very inexpensive. It was like $10 and there's quite a bit of it. And I now use this darker color because it's um, the summer. So I really like this formula. It like smooths on. It blends well. 
um, beautiful packaging that I very, like, I don't know if you felt Mars, it's like they're all beveled, like kind of smooth sides, and it's kind of like a matte finish. It's really cool. And then the other one, what I wouldn't repurchase, this is from Jimmy Kidd, and I actually think it breaks me out, even though I also really like the formula. I like that it's travel, you know, like stick form. And then the opposite side is a pretty nice highlighter, but I wouldn't repurchase again because I have this highlighter and this highlighter from Benetton, and I don't really like the cream highlighters. I I would much rather um, either to, to highlight with um, my Pixie kind of finishing powder, which has sparkles in it, or like put this in the corner of my eyes or like you know, right here, right here, even like right here, I would much rather do this like kind of matte peachy stick. And this is an Anastasia, I think, brow pencil, but you can use it on your face, it doesn't matter. You don't always have to stick to the rules. Um, so the next two things are kind of lip products. And even though I really like this EOS um, little packaging, I love the packaging. It's like a twist top. It's really fun just to like hold it, you know, and it has that same kind of matte finish that NARS products do, but I don't like the formula. I think you have to like reapply it. It's one of those things like you can feel your lips drying up like very quickly. And then the one that I re would repurchase is like kind of the rose salve, and I think this is a knockoff of the rose bud, but. You can use it pretty much on anything. I use this on um, my blemishes at night, and I think it kind of like seals them from, I don't know, kind of like Neosporin is. Like if you have a cut, you'll put the Neosporin on it so that it won't get more infected. I think it's the same idea with this rosebud salve. Okay, and then the next two are hair products. This is the Aussie Hair Insurance. Do not like this. I think it just like kind of sits on your hair and makes it crinkly and weighs it down. I think it's lousy. The one that I do like is from Frederick Fakai. It's the Three Minute Miracle um, Mask. Even though the smell is very heavy, I think once you watch it out, it's a lot more subtle. Um, it's a really nice product. It makes my hair feel great. I use this probably about twice a week, and it is very expensive, at least for me. So I don't know if I will repurchase this, but I would love to. The next two things are kind of mouth products. So this is ACT Total Care, and I love this. Just don't get the one that's big because it's just diluted form of this and you have to use it twice a day instead of one. And another thing is that they come with other versions where you kind of like squeeze it and then it fills up so it'll be the amount you want instead of having to pour it. I'll prefer that. It prevents cavities, it makes your breath smell better. This is way better than still for Listerine. Those other things burn and dry out your mouth, but this one doesn't. It's fabulous. Um, and then I also use Tom's Whole Care Toothpaste. Get the Whole Care because the other kind, I forget what it's called, it's probably like whitening or something. It kind of makes your mouth, like, it doesn't feel as clean. And you can tell that it gets dirtier, like if you brush your teeth in the morning, you can tell by like mid-morning that, I don't know, your teeth feel slimy. It's no good. So yeah, I like this toothpaste. I've bought this for years, and it's good. The last thing is Dr. Bronner's soap, and this is probably my fourth bottle of this. This is the Baby Mild kind. Um, it's great. Multi-purpose. It makes your skin feel like squeaky clean. Do dilute it though and see what I do is just get those travel versions and I put a little bit of it and then I put water in it and then you can use it because this is kind of bulky. Um, so yeah, those are those are the products. I hope that was helpful and um, have a have a good weekend and also thanks for, from, I think her name's Ida and then has numbers at the end, but um, she's from Barcelona. She's very sweet and this is for her. So um, have a good weekend and Oh, watch the World Cup. Have fun. <laughs>